Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go! It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the show. Today, I'm going to be sharing my top seven reasons of why you need a mentor. And this isn't going to be a long, drawn out sales pitch of why you need to join my mentorship program. But I do know if you are interested in getting mentoring with me, I have two separate programs. I have a one on one consulting program and I have the Inner Circle Mastermind. If you wanna learn more about that, just go to my website, buildmysportsbiz.com. And today, the seven reasons of you know why I have a mentor is that's what I'm gonna be talking about. And if you don't have a mentor yet, and you don't have someone who's in your corner that's supporting you and building you up and someone who you're learning from, I can promise you it's gonna take 10 times longer to succeed with your business. But I'm just going to go through these one by one, and then I'm going to elaborate and go back to each one individually. So here is my top seven list. So number one, your mentor has already walked the path that you are on right now. Okay. Number two, your mentor will help you avoid costly mistakes. Number three, your mentor truly knows what it takes to be successful. They have already have a proven process um, with what you want to do, and you simply model what they've done. Number four, your mentor will force you outside of your comfort zone no matter what. Number five, your mentor will hold you accountable to what you say you want in your business. Number six, your mentor will force you to let go of your past or any bullcrap excuse that's in your way from succeeding. And finally, number seven, your mentor will force you to play business at a higher level than you are currently at right now. Okay, so if you've written those down, great. If you haven't, I'm gonna go through these again and I'm just gonna go one by one here. So number one, the mentor has already walked the path that you're on right now. So what I mean by that is when you find a mentor, you need to find someone who has done what you want to do. And I'm really big on that because for me personally, like right now, I have a mentor who has already done what I want to do right now. And I'm able to time collapse my learning by a hundred because I'm learning from someone who's done exactly what I want to do right now, right? And I'm not going to be learning from someone who hasn't done what I've done. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having, you know, mentors who have other types of businesses. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me personally, I like to get advice from those who have been in the arena that I'm in right now. That just makes my life easier because I can ask them questions that I know that they've already gone through. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, they're going to help you avoid costly mistakes. And I can't tell you how many times where I've gone to conferences or I've sat down with personal uh, friends of mine and I've gotten just really crappy advice. And that's because, again, I wasn't talking to the person who's actually done what I want to do. I'm just listening to just advice from people that have not been in my shoes. And when you have a mentor, they're going to be able to look at what you're doing within two seconds and say, hey, you need to stop doing this because you're gonna lose a lot of money. Or you need to stop doing this because you're gonna be wasting a lot of time. And they will know that because maybe they have already tried that in the past with their business. And that's something I see all the time, like when I go meet with my mentor once a month, like she will pinpoint every little thing that I'm doing that's not gonna work. And that saves me so much time, all right? That's really, really important, all right? Number three, they truly know what it takes to be successful. So having a, a successful 
business coach and mentor, like they've already done what you want to do, like I've already covered, but they actually know what it takes and they have a lot of grit. They have a lot of discipline. They know what's not going to work and they know what does work. They know everything that you might not know yet about how to be successful. And this is something I tell my mastermind clients all the time, but it's like, I could give you the $100,000 per year blueprint on how to succeed with your business. But if you don't truly know what it takes to be successful, then it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. And a good example of that is I have a, a book called the Startup Sports Business Academy. Like, there's some coaches who've read that, like who within two weeks have generated like $10,000. Um, and then there's some coaches who read that and they don't do anything. And it's because the ones who don't do anything, they don't really know what it takes to be successful. And that's why I think you need to have a mentor that can show you that. Most people don't know what it takes to be successful. And I, and I know that. I, I didn't. Personally, I didn't. Even though I worked really hard and I was really driven, I didn't know what it took to be successful until I really had someone who could sit me down and like pick apart what I was doing, and also with my mindset. Um, I had a very fragile mindset when I started my business. And um, like I said, having a mentor is going to change that. They know what it takes to be successful. Uh, number four, they will force you outside of your comfort zone. And I'll give you a great example. Uh, last week, I went to go meet with my mentor. And for the last two years, I have told myself, I'd, I said, hey, I want to have, I call it the Sports Business Summit. And this is going to be an event I'm going to be putting on. And I've been telling myself that for the last couple of years. And every time I tell myself that in the past, I would make up excuses like, oh, well, you know, I don't think coaches want to actually fly to San Antonio to meet with me. And I don't know if I want to be presenting in front of, you know, a lot of people. And I don't know if it's going to work. And I had all this doubt and insecurity. And when I met with my mentor last week, like, she was like, all right, cool. When are you going to do it? She didn't say, like, how are you going to do it? She said, when are you going to do it? And so we put, we put it down on the calendar. And I'm going to be doing that this year because now I have to live up to what I say. And I have to get outside of my comfort zone no matter what and do something that, you know what, maybe I'm not – 100% ready to do that right now, but if I put on the calendar and I get outside my comfort zone, that's going to force me to get prepared. It's going to force me to get ready. And by the way, if you're a coach and you're interested in coming to that and you're committed and you you really want to learn how to get to the next level, that's going to be something I talk about in my newsletter um, coming up and I'll be talking about it on YouTube and on future podcasts as well. Okay, Number five, and this pairs along with number four, but they, the mentor will hold you accountable to what you say you want to do in your business. So, for example, with that little conference that I'm going to put on, like I said I want to do it. Now my mentor is going to hold me accountable and make sure I'm doing everything I need to to be prepared for that. And on the flip side, when I meet with my mentor, every single time I have to show up prepared. I have to show up and show exactly what my progress is and what I struggled with. And that way, I'm actually held accountable. I'm not just going to get free advice or get advice from someone. I, and that's, that's the other thing is when you have a mentor, I, I think a true mentor is someone who's going to hold you accountable. They're not just going to teach you something and then expect you to do it. They're going to teach you something and force you to do it. And if you think about, like, I'm assuming right now if you are a coach listening to this, I'm assuming you keep the kids that you train accountable. And in one way, you are a mentor to them. And if you're not keeping them accountable, they will never, ever get the results that they say they want. And I think good coaches always keep kids accountable and good mentors will always keep you as a, a business owner accountable to what you say you want. And I'm really big on that. And I, I think if you're part of our inner circle program, you see me, like I'm very blunt. I keep coaches accountable. Um, I don't like to sugarcoat anything. I like to make sure people get the results. That's why they're there, right? Uh, number six, the mentor will, will force you to let go of your past or any bullcrap excuse. 
And I can't tell you how important this is for me. And, you know, I don't need to go back and, and rehash out my, my life story, but to give you a, you know, Reader's Digest version, you know, when I started my business, I had a lot of, I would say, uh, not not anxiety, but I, I just I just didn't know what I was doing. I was confused. I was frustrated. I wasn't getting clients, and when I did get clients, they weren't committed. No one was really paying. I was really shy. I mean, I could go down the list of all the excuses I had, and those excuses continued to fester in my mind until I had my first real mentor who was like, dude, like, let's figure out why are you still like struggling talking with parents? And then ultimately went back to my childhood, right? And we did the same thing with sales. We did the same thing with marketing. Like, why was I afraid to market myself? Well, you know, it was an excuse I had in the past. And then once I realized I need to let go of that and really create a new identity, like from that point forward, I knew I could be successful, but I had to let go of all of my excuses. And personally, I needed someone to sit me down and show me what all my BS was and, and force it out of me. Otherwise, there's no way I'd be on this podcast right now. <laughs> like, There's 0% chance I'd have the, the balls to just do a, a podcast or be training the amount of kids that I've trained and, and now coach and mentor all the coaches that we've, we've coached for the last you know three or four years. And by having that mentor, they will force you to let go of your past and they, and they can show you examples as well of them with their excuses that they used to have. And I, I can't tell you enough how important that is because it's really hard to get that advice from like a personal friend um, or someone who's not in the arena. And that's, again, it goes back to number one. You want someone who's walked the path that you're on right now, okay? And lastly, number seven, they will force you to play business at a higher level than you are currently on right now. And I'll give you a good example of that. So in 2013, <laughs> I, I will never forget this. In 2013, I remember, like, for me, things were going pretty good. Uh, I was, I think I was probably, let's see here, 31 right now. So back then I was six years ago. Uh, I, was, I was around like 24, 25. And I had clients that I was training I was, I was training kids full time. I, I wasn't trying to really do anything else other than train kids. And I thought I was doing good. And I got a little content because all my bills were paid for. I was saving money every month. Hey, life felt good. I, I had, I don't know, I, I had a lot of confidence. And then I remember I went to this conference and there was this guy speaking he had a very similar message to what I'm talking about right now. And he was talking about how, you know, when he was in his mid twenties, he was very comfortable. He felt good. He felt content. And then when he met with his first mentors, his first mentor made him realize like you're playing at such a small level, like the level that you're playing at is it's almost like you're in a box and you're content being in that box and you don't have to leave that box. Um, but if you do, there's a much bigger vision <laughs> outside of the box if you're willing to break the box and realize that you should never be content with how your business is. And you should always be looking to get to the next level because there's always a, the next level. There's always a way you can improve on what you're doing. There's always, like to be honest, there's always more money and more clients that you can serve. You can have... a a much more significant impact if you're around someone who can make you realize that and they can open that possibility up. And I remember after I watched this guy's message, I was like, man, you know, I'm making around, I think I was making around $4,000 a month. For me, as like a single guy back then, I, I felt like I was balling. <laughs> like that felt unbelievably amazing because I was so happy. 
and I, I realized that I was like, man, I need to be around someone who's like way more successful than me. And that's the first thing I did when I got home. Um, I ended up paying, I, I don't know if I've ever shared this on the podcast, but I ended up paying someone $800 a month. And that included two 30 minute conversations. And that was a stretch for me. Like paying $800 a month was a stretch. But I wanted to learn from someone who has made like 10 times more money per month than I was. <laughs> and having, you know, those few months of consulting with that mentor, it made me realize I was playing at such a small, tiny, minute level. And the only way I can get out of that is if I surround myself around someone who's playing at a much higher level. And look at any professional athlete like, or any kid out there that you've ever trained. Like, If you play with people who are at your level, like, yeah, you might be a little bit better than them. You might stand out a little bit. But when you play around those who are way better than you, it forces you to play better. You play up to their level. And that's what happens with business. Like, If you are stuck in your, your own box right now and you feel comfortable or you feel like, ah, oh, I, I just don't know if I can succeed. Well, that's telling me you haven't spent enough time around someone who has succeeded at a really high level because that person will be able to help you change your mindset and they'll show you like, hey, like this is what you could be doing if you do X, Y, Z. And I'm going to end this podcast on that note. Like I said, if you are someone who's committed, someone who like, really wants to, to be successful, you need to find a mentor, someone who has walked the path. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, generate more income, and create more freedom in your life, You'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.